Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Basic Fundamentals for the F-14. Today, we'll be talking about CCIP bombing. We're going to use a couple of different variations of bombs. We have the Mark 20 cluster bombs, the Mark 84s, and the Mark 82 snake eyes with the uh, drag fins on them. Okay, so we will take a peek at all of that, and let's get in the cockpit and see how we uh, get this all set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to keep from coming dramatically off course. So let's go ahead and set our autopilot while we are messing around. All right, so I've gone ahead and already set up a steer point for Jester for the surface targets just to save us a little bit of time. So we'll go into navigation, select steer point and surface target. All right, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and go into bomb mode. So we set our master arm, set air to ground mode. Perfect. Now let's go ahead, once the bomb queue comes up, so the computer's officially switched over, and let's go ahead and select some ordnance. So we're going to go into our ordnance menu, select the Mark 84 for our first initial release here. Now, remember this was computer target mode is, is how we set this. So by, by setting this, we go into CCRP. We don't want that. So we're just going to go to set pairs, set mechanical fuse. We don't have any high drag or any kind of cluster munitions that require any kind of secondary fuse. So we're just going to hit nose. Okay, we're going to go into ripple settings and we just want a, to set a uh, ripple quantity here and we're going to set that at two. Back to the ripple settings, ripple distance, we're going to set it to uh, enclose five meters, 16 feet. And then let's just select our stations. By the way, in the last one, I said this was like all stations or something stupid like that. That's one Bravo and eight Bravo. It's the two outer stores that currently have the cluster munitions on. So sorry if I said that, that was retarded. All right, and then we're going to use stations three and six for our Mark 84s, and we should be all set for deployment or employment, excuse me. So the next thing we're going to do, we have our waypoint set. Let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, menu there. Let's go ahead and come out of autopilot and let's start steering towards our target. Now, you don't have to come in from a really high approach. When you get the uh, crosshair or the pipper, how that's going to work, it's all based on your closure rate is when that appears. So we're just going to sort of, you know, 15, 20 degree approach angle. We'll zoom in nice and close so you guys can see everything there. All right. And we're just going to sort of hold her here. What I typically like to do is put my uh, aircraft datum just in front of my targets uh, that I want to bomb. So right about there. Nothing crazy. Let's try to keep us on course here. And obviously, the higher the close rate, the faster you get the pipper. All right, and pausing for just a second, you can barely see it here, but here's our uh, bombing pipper. Okay, you've got the center point in the middle with the four points or four uh, extended wings off the each uh, axis. So, all just like you know, you would think, all you have to do here is drop your target right in the center of that bad boy and hold your aircraft still and pickle them off. So here we go. and pickle and we'll let uh iceman take over there's our bombs looking good boom there we go all right so good hits on those bombs so uh you'll find that uh ccip is a lot easier than um ccrp um, I really find it to be much more accurate for this kind of bombing, right? It's like I was telling you, it all depends on what you're doing with it. All right, so the next one that tends to be a little bit tricky for people, let's go ahead and take a look at the Mark 20, the cluster bomb. So we're just going to cycle through until we find our Mark 20. I just use the C, hoping that's right. Now, because it has a secondary fuse, it has to have, a, at a certain time, we have to open up the canister. We're going to set this down to nose tail. Um, we're also going to select stations 1 Bravo and 8 Bravo. Oops, there we go. Deselect 4 and 5, or that was selecting 4 and 5, sorry. Deselect 3 and 6. Now, with the cluster bombs, you don't want to drop them too low. Um, the fusing is not something that we can set in the aircraft as far as when the canister will open up. So I found that you want to be um, a good few thousand feet up in the air to give the uh, fuse enough time to uh, spin down and open up the canisters. If you drop them too low, you, you'll just get a dud hit. Nothing will happen. So if you find that you're using the cluster bombs consistently over and over again and they never open up, you never get that cluster of explosions, chances are that you are dropping them from too low. Get up a little bit higher and then uh, execute your attack, okay? 
So we'll go ahead and turn back in. We have a nice group of uh, Jeeps out there that uh, will be perfect for these cluster munitions. And we'll rain some fire down. All right, so we're coming on to bear now. So let's go ahead and uh, put our weapons on track. And hopefully you guys can see the little cluster of vehicles out there. You'll definitely be able to see them by the time we release. So get try to get on track here. And you can see there's the pipper coming up. So I'm going to slowly start pulling back on the stick. I like to keep it towards the bottom of the tree. And release. Give it to Iceman. Watch our cluster munitions. There's the pop. And rain. Boom. Those cluster munitions are so cool. God, it would suck to be under those. Okay, so we've... Taking a look at the Mark 84s for a nice little torpedo bombing there. We took a look at our cluster munitions for a nice uh, uh, area attack. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Mark A2s. Now Mark 82s, if you're not using the uh, deployment of the wings, okay, you're not using the high drag, um, then they're very simple. You just use them the same way we did the Mark 84. Select your bomb. Now you, what you would do is come here. Let me lock this menu for a minute. Let's find our Mark 82s. Now, you can see Mark 82 has low drag, so that's going to be your dive bombing the same way we did the Mark 84. Point the nose down, find your target, release them. They come screaming down. But what we're going to do is high drag, okay? So we're going to set the high drag. We're going to leave, leave the fusing on nose tail because we need the tail fins to expand, right? Let's so leave our quantity at two, interval at two seconds. We're going to go ahead and save stations uh, three and six. Looks like they already were. That's right, we did that last time. Sorry, we need to save... The Bravos. There we go. And now we'll select stations four and five for our next round. Unpause our camera, get back into the pilot seat. Now, much like the uh, Hornet, okay, the purpose of these high drag bombs is to come in low and fast. So we're going to get our bird down here, bring her around. If we look at our spinometer here, we're punching at about 580 knots right now. I have the radar altimeter currently set to 500, so as soon as she starts beeping is when we'll uh, level her out. Looking for a target area out there now. miles out so she's a little far out so we want to maintain between five and six hundred knots so I'm pulling off the throttle just a hair we're screaming see the smoke out there identify our target there okay and now let's get our altitude down a bit a little high there's the beeping letting us know we're on track see our smoke you guys can see the pipper on the bomb line there hopefully it's already up We're going to go for that group there in the back. Hopefully get a good hit here. And pickle. Two and F6. Let's watch our wings. You can see the wings deployed. Good hits. Shack. Okay, so that is the low altitude bombing. So now just so you guys can see the difference. If you find that your bombs are not, um, if you keep dropping short, you're consistently dropping short, dropping short, dropping short. Come back here to your panel again or recheck your settings in through the jester wheel and make sure you don't have the Mark 82 low. Oh, there we go. If you have the low, the fins will still deploy, but the problem with setting it in low is that the pipper won't be in the right location. Okay, the pipper is going to show you, um, it's going to think that you're dropping much a much faster bomb. So let's go ahead and set these into nose 
So it's the same bomb. If we come up underneath, it's the exact same bomb, but what we've programmed by setting them to nose fuse only, the wings will not deploy. So we're just going to dive bomb the living crap out of something. So let's go ahead and set these to four. So we get rid of all of them. Oops, wrong button. There we go. And let's get after it. It's amazing what you can do when you can see it. And so because this is a uh, standard bombing run, we're doing a, a dive angle approach pattern here, or a attack path. We want to make sure that we uh, have the altitude to actually get the angle of attack right. So we're going to punch our altitude up just a bit. That's good. We can get out in that amount of time. On the distance, typically with the D dive bombing approach, I typically look for between five and... Uh, about between four and five miles, and then I'll start my uh, descent down onto the target. There's five. We'll go ahead and wait for four. There's four. Let's roll in. Okay, and our pipper's already ready. So we just got to get on target. Pickle off. Two, F6, watch the rain, look at that. Notice the wings did not deploy on them. ka All right, that was a whole lot of fun. I don't know why I'm having such a good time with that. All right, I don't know what Iceman's doing here. Um, yeah, really don't know what Iceman's doing here, so let's go ahead and take the controls from him. I told him not to drink last night. All right, so I've reset the aircraft here for our gun round. And the last thing we're going to do here is take a look at the gun pipper in CCIP mode. So we're going to go ahead and set our master arm back up, get us back into air to ground. If I can stop moving my head. There we go. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and arm the gun switch. Okay. Now I hope you guys have this mapped and speaking of mappings, just something real quick while we're there. If you're new to the F-14, you want to have your sidewinder mapped somehow to the stick. Now I had to create these key bindings, but if you want to use the inside mapping, you can. The Sparrow, now to switch between Sparrow and Phoenix, you would double tap that, we'll go over that later. Weapons off selector, okay, so you want to be able to shut the weapons off, and then the gun, okay. So we've set the gun, we have the gun rate in low fire mode, low fire is used for air to ground mode. You can see up here on the HUD we have the G indicating the gun is selected, the 6 indicates the number of rounds we have in hundreds. So currently we have 600 rounds plus remaining, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and steer towards our target area again. Now, the gun will not do anything against soft targets or, or hard targets, tanks, shit like that. Okay, you're not going to be able to get through. Now, BTRs, things of that nature, you can typically punch through with the gun. Um, as long as you have armor piercing selected. So in the gun armament menu on the uh, rearm window, you can select HE for high explosives. So those are good against aircraft, uh, jeeps, things of that nature. And then you can have a API, which is armor piercing, or HEAP mix. And that's typically what I use is the mix. Um, and it gives you the ability to punch through the armor piercing as well as getting the high explosive rounds. Um, for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and go for these guys on the left. These shouldn't be tanks. I know the guys going from north to south are T-72s and T-55s, so we're not going to bother going after them on this round. Now what we're looking for is our gun pipper to appear on the HUD as we get uh, lower and lower. And what you'll first see is the pipper with a diamond in the middle of it. As long as the diamond is there, you're too far away, you do not want to engage. When the diamond disappears, that's when you're clear to fire. So there's the diamond that we were just discussing. So now I'm just going to sort of navigate onto target here. I'm going to go ahead and pitch down a bit. Okay, I'm clear. And I'm rolling out. All right, looks like those were hard targets as well. So we'll go over those other guys that are burning to death. All right, so there's our gun, Pipper. Now, the thing about the gun, too, is you want to be fairly stabilized. 
Okay, so don't be having a lot of uh, rudder input. There you guys go. All right, so those are good rounds on target. All right, and that is the gun in a hand basket for CCIP and ground attack. Not a whole lot to it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I tried to uh, show you guys how to use a couple different types of ordnance. Um, I know most people just say, you know, there's a lot of tutorials on how do you CCIP your hair, you just point it down and bomb it. Um, but they don't talk about the different settings in the bombs and things like that. That can be quite confusing too. Um, leave your uh, questions and comments in the fields below. Again, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Ring that bell if you guys want notifications for further content or future content. Until next time, this is Overkill. Have a wonderful week, guys.